Well, a pleasant day everyone. So on behalf of my group mates, I was assigned to report about the taxation. And I'll be discussing about the brief, brief history and the taxation in the Philippines. So taxation at its course is an important instrument used to reduce inequality. But in simple terms, it is the practice of collecting money from citizens based on their earnings and properties. So that means yung gobyerno natin, kumukuha sila ng tax sa mga earnings natin o yung mga kinikita natin, napapanalunan natin sa isang competition. For example, si Manny Pacquiao, nanalo siya sa isang boxing competition. And then kapag yung pera niya na transfer sa Pilipinas, may babayaran siyang tax. And for the properties, kapag nakaun ka ng isang car, uh, house and lot, you need to pay for that. Just like uh, sa amin, pinabayaran namin yung lupa. Uh, every year, we pay uh, ranging 800 to 1,500 pesos. And for that, uh, kailangan natin ng tax to reduce the inequality. That means, uh, kailangan natin matanggal yung hindi pagkakapantay-pantay. Kahit mayaman ka man, average or poor. Kapag nakaun ka ng isang properties or may earnings ka, you need to pay for the tax for the government. So, the first record of organized taxation comes from Egypt around 3000 BC and is mentioned in numerous historical sources including the Bible. Including sa Bible, may, may mga napanood ako during uh, Holy Week. Ganun. Uh, during that time, kung may farm ka or may mga alaga kang hayop, you need to pay for the tax. Mas kilala sa tinatawag nilang taripa pa. So, the history. Following the history, taxes has been around since the beginning of early civilizations in which according to history, the Mesopotamia has implemented taxes 4,500 years ago. So, Mesopotamia ang unang nag-implemented ng taxes. From their, their form of payment is through livestock. So, just like what I've, what I've said sa Bible, dito din, Mesopotamia ang unang nag-implement through the livestock o yung mga farm o yung mga ina inaalaga nila kayo kapag nabenta or may profit doon, kailangan nilang magbayad. And also, Yung mga knights ang kumukuha ng mga taxes o nagpokolek ng mga taxes and also to keep the church money and also task the charge and taxes ng the citizens and members of the church. O for example, uh, sa kang pare, that time, nagbabayad ka rin ng mga taxes mo. May exempted tayo yung mga nangungolekta which is the knights. Tax rate or tax income Nowadays, annual earnings in properties such as lands, houses, cars, and antiquities are bound to be calculated for an individual's tax rate. Income tax as of now are in 10%, 12%, 22% to 37%. Let's take for example, si Juan. Ang annual earnings niya is 300,000. Sa 300,000 na yon, mabawasan ng 10% as the income tax. Ang babayaran niya is 30,000 pesos annually. The value-added taxation is based on taxpayers' consumption rather, rather than their income. What applies equally to every purchase? Itong value-added taxation na to, mostly nakikita natin sa mga supermarkets, groceries, uh, minsan sa 7-Eleven, uh, mga ganun. Uh, if you've noticed yung mga receipt natin, may nakalagay dun na VAT, which is binabayaran natin kapag bumubili tayo ng mga product nila. Like the Gatorade, mga pagkain, na nababawas na sa binabayaran natin. Income tax rate, uh, just like what I've said, ranging from 5% to 32%. Corporate tax rate, yung mga, mga corporation naman, yung mga malalaking business. Tax or VAT rate, the 12%. The Philippines taxes, the law in the Philippines covers national and local taxes. National taxes refers to national Inter internal revenue taxes imposed and collected by the national government through the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Itong BIR, mostly mga nagbabayad dito yung mga malalaking companies. And local taxes refer to those imposed and collected by the local government. Itong mga local taxes naman, uh, kagaya sa amin, nagbabayad kami annually sa kanila. Ito sa local LGU namin, sa, sa San Gabriel, which is ranging from 800 to 1,500. Personal income tax. Ito yung sinasabi ko yung taxable income. Ito, kapag kumikita ka ng 10,000 up to 500,000, ito naman yung tax rate na makikita mo. Hindi from 5% up to 32% depending upon your annual income. State and citizens' responsibilities. During the early years of the current administration, the government and its allies in the legislature imposed 
more taxes fund its massive infrastructure project and also launches massive foreign borrowing resulting to a unprecedented accumulation of debts which equals about the borrowing of our previous presidents. Itong sample dito yung nagkautang na ata tayo ng mga above uh, 10 billion na ata dahil sa mga projects natin and also for the for this pandemic nagkaroon na tayo ng utang. Sabi dito, 4 out of 70% or so projects have actually taken off and even many of the rehabilitation works which receive billions of foreign funding were not moving. To cut it short, most of the taxes goes to corruption. Ito naman yung mali sa sistema natin sa Pilipinas. May sapat tayong budget, may sapat tayong uh, nakalisip pa tayo ng mga billions of foreign funding. Pero, ang ginagawa ng mga politiko natin, kinukurap yung pera ng mga tao. Yung mga taxes natin na napupunta sa kanilang mga sariling bulsa, hindi napupunta sa kagandaan ng ating society. Personally, the Philippine tax system is pro-people and pro-pool. In the new Philippine tax system, if you earn less than 250,000 a year, you will not be taxed. It means kapag you 250,000 pababa, hindi ka magbabayad ng tax. Aside from these middle income earners or those who earn about 250,000 a year, they are taxed lesser compared to the tax system before. According sa tax system natin ngayon, konti na pala yung mababawas na tax income. So those who are minimum wage earners like security guard, salesman, sales agent, department stores, factory, workers, and other wage earners, their take-home pay are tax pay. Which means, oh, wala na siyang babayaran. Hindi na sila magbabayad sa ating gobyerno. The importance of taxes. Governments impose charges on their citizens and businesses as a means of raising revenue, which means a money that is collected for public use. This includes financing government and public projects as well as making the business environment in the country conducive for economic growth. Siyempre, kapag napaganda yung mga public projects, like for example, the tourist spots, uh, doon natin makikita na tataas talaga yung economic growth natin. Kasi maraming turista ang pupunta, that means ma maraming pera ang maiaambag. May Importance of taxes in society. Oh, without taxes, governments would be unable to meet the demands of their societies. Siyempre, saan nga ba sila kukuha ng pera kapag walang taxes na, na nakukuha sa mga tao? Uh, ano yung mga uh, gagamitin na pera o budget for the uh, infrastructures, mga ganon? O mga pag uh, re develop ng mga tourist spots o mga uh, buildings? And here are some of the projects. For the health, syempre without taxes, government contributions to the health sector would be impossible. Kasi saan naman kasi sila kukuha ng pamba pambayad sa mga uh, hospital fees, o mga pambayad sa mga uh, doctors, kung especially sa mga public hospitals kasi itong mga do, feel health, ganun. Doon sila kumukuha ng pera, pambayad sa mga doctors and yung mga health fees. And also for education. Education could be one of the most deserving recipients of tax money. Governments put a lot of importance in development of human capital and education in central the development. Money from taxes is channeled to funding, furnishing, and maintaining the public education system. There was this one time na tinanong ko yung parents ko, yung mama ko, to be precise. Tinanong ko siya, Ma, di ba public edo? Wala tayong binabayaran na tuition. Sabi niya, Wala nga tayong binabayaran, pero yung mga taxes natin, yun naman yung ginag uh, ginagamit pansahod sa mga teachers and for the, uh, the development of the infrastructures. Then, nabigla ako. Tapos, tinanong ko siya ulit. So, kapag wala tayong mga binabayarang taxes, hindi gagana ang system natin. Sinabi niya, oo, kasi wala tayong sariling budget na nakalaan. Kailangan din natin ng taxes. Kasi yung pera sa society, umiikot. And for the the governance. Governance is a crucial component of the smooth running of country affairs where governance would have far-reaching ramifications in the entire country with a heavy toll on its economic growth. Good governance ensures that the money collected is utilized in a manner that benefits citizens of the country. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng gobyerno dahil sila yung naatasang magpalakad sa isang, isang bansa for a better uh, system, for a better society system. This money also goes to pay public servants. Public servants natin like the police officers, members of parliaments, 
postal system and others, yung mga bumbero, yung mga police officers, yung mga tax na binabayad natin, yun yung nagpapasahod sa kanila. Importance of tax businesses For business to flourish in a country, there has to be a good infrastructure such as roads, telephones, electricity. Oh, just like uh, project ni Duterte ngayon, the build, build, build project. But most of the project are done, but may mga project pa na hindi natapos uh, due to this pandemic. This infection is developed by governments or through close involvement of the government. When governments collect money from taxes, it fluff this money into development of this infrastructure and in turn promotes economic activity throughout the country. For example, the Boracay, the rehabilitation doon. Napaganda na yung Boracay. So that promotes economic Uh, economic growth. Kasi maraming turista ang bubunta. It means maraming pera ang mapaikot. Let's consider the fact that kapag uh, bulok yung mga infrastructure natin, syempre wala, wala tayong maa-attract ng mga, uh, mga turista, uh, mga tao na pumunta sa isang business. So, kailangan natin ng mga uh, tax for the development of these infrastructures. to promote economic activity throughout the country. Siyempre, kapag marami mga turista, is a war I've said a while back, nataas yung economic growth natin. The concept of taxation is also important to business because governments can fund this money back into the economy in the form of loans or other forms. Pero ano nga ba yung loan? A loan is an amount of money that is given to someone for a, pay, for a period of time with a promise that it will be paid back. For example, si, si Juan. nag-loan siya, uh, nangutang siya ng pera sa isang uh, particular company, ganun. Tapos, kapag nangutang siya, may period of time na kailangan niyang ibalik yung inutang, niya, inutang niya. Taxes help raise the standard of living in a country. The higher the standard of living, the stronger and higher the level of consumption is likely is. Business flourish when there is a market of further products and services. Kagaya na nga sinabi ko, that as yung uh, economic growth at kapag uh, yung mga businesses natin maganda. With a higher standard of living, businesses would be assured or of a higher domestic consumption as well. Taxes are essential and every citizen is meant to reap benefits of these taxes. Kapag nagbabayad naman tayo ng taxes, babalik din naman sa atin yun eh. Yung pera lang na ginagamit natin, umiikot lang siya sa society natin. But, in a good way naman. This is why it is important that citizens in the world to pay taxes and understand that it's meant to be more than just a money grab for the government. So, to sum it up, the government generally, generally taxes its individual and corporate citizens to help finance the public works and services. Kaya nang sinabi ang mga infrastructures, mga roads, telephones, to be and maintain the infrastructures used in every country. The tax collected is used to boost the economy and all those who work in it. Taxation not only pays for public goods and services, it is also a key ingredient in the social contract between citizens and the economy. Kapag mas marami yung, uh, yung mga taxes natin na binabayad natin, uh, bear in mind na tataas din yung economic growth natin. If only the governance o yung mga gobyerno, yung mga nasa gobyerno ay hindi ko kura coding yung pera natin. Taxes are very important when it comes to managing your finances because you need to know that, that services or expenses are tax deductible and what isn't. In addition to this, many small businesses fall behind when it comes to their taxes and other financial requirements making an accountant team idea, ideal to work with them. mga big companies na to, yung mga malalaki yung mga taxes na binabayaran, kailangan nila ng isang accounting team. This is why taxes are very important in every country. So, that concludes all. I hope na may natutunan kayo. And on behalf of my groupmates, thank you everyone.